battle has just begun! Are you ready for Sun and Moon Wi-Fi Battle number one? Yes, you are ready. Welcome to the Robotnik is Sexy Show. This still isn't long. Oh, actually, that looks perfect. What I just did. That lined it up. Okay. Uh, still using shit cam. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah, so this is a, this is a guy, he, uh, well, he's got some Ultra Beasts, he's got a Zygarde, he has that Moon guy, and he's got Tapu Koko. Um, if this guy has trained his Pokemon properly and is using the right items, then he'll probably beat me, but if he is an Uber Noob, which is what I am suspecting, uh, then it should be a uh, a quick match for me maybe by the way big shout outs to Weedle Twin Needle who supplied me with a battle ready team for nothing he just gave it to me <laughs> uh, what a cool guy uh, so he gave me Galissapod because it's my favorite uh, and a couple others he gave me Magga Elakazam he gave me uh, Bruxish um, uh, Nihiligo who is a very fun Pokemon to have on your team just for life or raw power and the fact that you can suck up toxic spikes which are um, really really popular uh, pre-bank right now I think uh, and I got the mushroom and, and we got Sash Mamo of course because um, every baby metagame has to deal with Sash Mamo because it is uh, well it's just really good isn't it Sash Mamo like it, it just beats down this metagame just by looking at it. It's uh, it's pretty funny. Uh, all right, let's get the battle started. Started. So he has a special pose because he talked to the janitor guy after beating the game, which is something I need to do. So he starts the battle and he's just all he's he's like yeah. And he has like this really wimpy grandma throw for his Pokeball. That's like a customized trainer thing that you can do in this game. Fantastic. This is what the seventh generation has brought us. Little poses. Uh. <laughs> so he he tries to he tries to use Sky Drop on Mammoth Swine and it fails. Like it just straight up fails. <laughs> that is funny. Uh, now he's going to send out Cartana. My Sash is intact, so I have no reason to switch out. I'm going to stay in and get some damage on Cartana. Because it is a very powerful Pokemon. It is not that fast, but it has 181 base attack and is a Grass Steel type. As you can see, it's going to go for the Leaf Blade, but it just isn't enough to take me out because of the Focus Sash. Uh, I get to soak up that crit, too. That's really nice. Um... Yeah, so I decide now is the time to use Stealth Rocks. He switches out on me, which is even better for me. Um, so great, now I got Stealth Rocks up for absolutely free. Guzzlord is in here. Um, I don't want to burn uh, Mammoth Swine quite yet, because he's so fucking useful, even on 1, eight, one HP. Um, he's just that useful. So I'm going to go into my... Uh, what is this guy? He is a fairy and grass type. And he soaks the Dragon Club, and my opponent is going to make the only good play ever, uh, so far. Uh, and switch into his Grass type on the score. Should have expected that and used Thunder Wave. Um, so that's my bad. That's just a good move on his part. So he's gonna go for Smart Strike. Really glad he isn't using Iron Head. Or, um, I'm not sure what kind of steel moves this guy gets, to be honest. Uh, but I'm sure he gets some kind of powerful steel move. Uh, I go for Thunder Wave and take out, or uh, I don't, I, I take the hit is what I'm trying to say. I take that hit really surprisingly well, and that's great. Uh, unfortunately, um, no regenerator on this guy. I don't think he gets it. Uh, so he will never be as good as a Moongus, but that's all right. Just being a fairy type um, helps him out a ton anyway. So it's, uh, yeah, pretty pretty true. Uh, I'm going to switch in on the predicted physical hit, um, and uh, because I am a water type and my defense is like base 120, Galissapod just shrugs that off. He's like, whatever. And I 
uh, finish him off with a first impression. Now, Zygarde's coming out. I'm going to stay in for a leash life for sure. Uh, the way this played out on Pokemon Showdown Glissopod 1. Um, but, um, yeah. So he's going to go Stone Edge. Because my defense is so incredibly high, um, I can just take it and use Emergency Exit. Which gives me a uh, switch advantage into uh, this guy, uh, Nihiligro, uh, uh, Lego, um, who has hidden power ice. Um, so big props to Weedle Twin Needle. I'm just uh, pooping out the perfect jellyfish monster for me to use. And I get the beast boost, and my special attack is boosted. Now, um, Lunala is going to come out. Now, uh, I want to Stealth Rocks up just for this guy, because this Pokemon, Lunala, gets a uh, its own unique version of multi-scale. Uh, so you don't want to fight this guy when he's at full health, because you're just going to lose, pretty much. So Stealth Rocks are important. My opponent decides to go for a Z-move. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Lunala is going to surround itself with Z-Power and use Shattered Psyche, uh, which is a pretty cool move, I guess. So, he's staring me down, and, uh, yeah, yeah, shit is not looking great for Jellyfish. Um, even with my high special defense, I'm not going to take that. So, that guy's down, but it's okay, I got a kill uh, with it, so it's alright. Uh, Glissopod's going to come in to revenge kill like it does. Oh, man, I love this Pokemon. One thing that, uh, that really struck me with the team that was traded to me is how insanely well Mamoswine and Glissopod um, synergize together. Because Glissopod is weak to electric, and Mamoswine uh, is immune to electric. Uh, Mamoswine is weak to fighting and water, both things that Glissopod can actually switch into like pretty easily. Um, so he's carrying Stone Edge coverage on Guzzlord too. Um, I forgot the speed tiers here, I, I didn't even bother to really look at it, but I think Guzzlord is, like, insanely slow. But, somehow, it is able to outspeed my Mushroom. Um, and I just take it out with a Moonblast. Really didn't think I would... Oh, that's, it. that's right, it is quad weak to Moonblast, so I guess that... Yeah, that makes sense. That, that does make sense. Um, so I take him out, and that's great, fantastic. So uh, this mushroom is looking like the surprise MVP of this battle uh, with its stupid mushroom ass diaper. Uh, I'm just going to leave it in as fodder as uh, Faramosa takes me out with a poison jab. Unfortunately for Faramosa, uh, the effect spore is going to paralyze it, so now this guy is really done. Uh, Stealth Rocks took down its sash if it even had one. It is going to get a speed boost, though, so uh, paralysis works differently in this game. It only halves your speed, so that means if you're fast enough, you can outrun the Paralysis pretty easily. Um, but luckily for me, the Mamoswine that I have here is Jolly Natured, so I don't have to worry about that. And I take him out with an Earthquake. And that's just a fun little battle. I mean, like, it's a scrubtastic battle. I mean, it, it certainly isn't the best battle ever, but for a Wi-Fi battle, it's pretty cool. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. Uh, you can battle me if you want. I really, I mean, this is the only team I have, so you can probably counter-team it pretty hard. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if anybody wants to battle me, just, you know, leave a comment, and I'll give you my Skype, and stuff will happen. But, yeah, comment, like, subscribe. I gotta go to work. See ya later, YouTube.